So here we have the basic uh, first stages of our cement slab. We pour everything out in the edges, basically the perimeter and down the center. That gives them uh, something to work from to get it all level. And there is uh, what they call Maya or screen underneath to reinforce it. Well, as you can see, the guys are still working on the driveway, concrete slab. Uh, it's 5 o'clock now. I'm not sure how much further they're going to go. If they're going to cut it off somewhere or try and get the entire thing done tonight. Anyway, the battle continues. Uh, we managed to get, as I mentioned earlier, the light changed over, the, the power connection changed over from the ridiculously goofy wire they had running up the house before up to our new system with uh, two separate breakers, a new panel, a uh, larger cable. I've managed to hook in the plug-ins in the kitchen and the lights, a few of the lights, uh, using the old breaker panel, which is now just a junction box. It's a complicated Mickey Mouse way of doing things, but unfortunately, uh, once the house is built, it's very difficult to run power anywhere else except where they had it. Anyway, more on that later. We're making progress. Tomorrow. So here we have it. It's close to seven o'clock, I think, and they are just trying to get finished up with the driveway. Okay, so this is what the concrete looks like. Morning after. So they're building here a wall at the back, not very high, just below the gate there. Um, that will help keep the water and dirt out. We're calling this the Grand Muro de China, Great Wall of China. So here we have our Maestro Pedro is working on our septic tank, it's building blocks. with a small space in between. Well, this is our septic. And when he's finished, he's gonna fill in the bottom with concrete. Danny is working in the bathroom. He's placing the tiles. He put some mesh in there and some cement with adhesive. And he is just putting those in place. So I just wanted to explain a little bit about what I'm doing to uh, put some plugins into the bedroom. We were unable to connect using the tubes, existing tubes. So what I've done is I have put a hole here and another hole here. As you can see, I'm using a standard conduit connector, connection um, elbow. I also have connected to that a box for an external plug-in. But inside the wall, I'm using a T on this other hole, and the T has a tube that extends the depth of the wall. And on the very end of it, there is a threaded coupling, and that is going to thread, or is going to uh, attach to the metal box that's on the inside. So this is going to go into the wall like this, connected to the rest of them down there at the far end and I'll show you what's happening on the inside. So now on the inside that threaded piece is pushing through and all I have to do is attach the box. I don't know if you can see in there now but I've put a uh, nut on the end of that tube to fasten it to the box and it's absolutely solid, not going anywhere. So here is my conduit for the outside plug-in and for the two plug-ins in the bedroom. I've got a box attached to the wall, the one on the right, exterior box. And I've got conduit running down into an elbow, 
And as you can see, it runs all the way along into a T. And then we run along into a box for the outside plug-in. And finally into an L, the last plug-in on the inside. But that's the condo, and I just have to try and string the wires through it. Well, it's the end of the day, Tuesday. Today we managed to get uh, the wall partially built at the back behind the cistern. I just got to put some metal in there now. We got the um, septic tank is uh, partially built, about a quarter of the way there. And uh, I managed to install the caliphone for the hot water and uh, the lines or the electrical conduit for the some plug-ins on the inside and plug-in on the outside. So I actually say we got a, quite a bit done today. We've been having a problem all day today with water. We haven't had any basically all day. They're trying to repair some of the lines up on the hill from here and uh, so we're getting a little bit of water now but it's been a real struggle all day. You can't make concrete without water. It's just impossible. So we're hoping this evening we get a little bit of water, we can at least have a shower, and uh, try and fill some of these barrels and tanks, etc. for tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, we will talk to you tomorrow. So what we have arriving here now is the adobe blocks. I'll take a close up them, of them in a minute here, but they're uh, adobe blocks, not that many of them, about 20. But on the other side here, this is the, uh, well, it just looks like dirt to be honest with you. It's the dirt that we can convert into clay for the adobe blocks. And in the sack is uh, some kind of uh, sawdust or something. This is the, the Madeira? Que tipo es laurel? We have our Maestro Pedro. He's just putting the finishing coats on our septic tank. And meanwhile, we're just getting some of the connections. I'm gonna change the septic from where it's connected up here at the top. Hey everyone, it is the end of the day on Thursday. We were in town on Wednesday. Um, came back this morning. Managed to get a lot of stuff done in the last couple of days. Uh, Segundo, our other second maestro, Managed to get the little wall at the back finished and everything cleaned up. It looks really good there. Our gate is back welded in place. It's really nice. And um, the other maestro, Pedro, has been working down below on the septic tank. As you've seen a few videos of that. And uh, they've been also working, a couple of the young guys, on digging the trench across to connect the septic. It has to go all the way from the, the uh, outdoor kitchen at the back or side here down to the septic system. So they're going to basically get that most of the way finished tomorrow or Monday, I should say. And uh, we've been working inside a little bit, just getting some a little bit of electrical finished and um, the uh, structure for the ceiling in the hallway. Danny finished that today. And we've been painting boards. Laurel has been painting boards all day as well as Danny some as well. So uh, we're going to get ready to install them hopefully tomorrow. We're going to put up some roof and get some lights installed and get some things working. Anyway, I'm really happy with the progress. Things are actually looking uh, pretty good here now. I'm starting to feel a lot better about the way things are moving along. And the nice thing about today was we did have a little bit of water all day. So that was good. Okay, that's it for today. We'll talk to you at the end of the day tomorrow. As you may have noticed from an earlier shot, the adobe bricks are quite big, quite large there. They're over a foot long by more than four inches high, and I don't know how wide they are, like six inches wide, they're quite large. So you can see here he's mixing it now. He's got just the, the mud, water and sawdust from various different types of trees, whatever happened to be in the uh, sawmill that day. And he mixes that together. The sawdust helps add fiber to the mixture 
helps prevent, well, makes it stronger and um, helps to prevent uh, cracks in the plaster afterwards. Isn't that much different from the way the ancient Egyptians mixed mud with straw? Well everyone, it is the end of the day on Friday. Another week has gone by. And I'm just trying to think back to what exactly we accomplished. The main accomplishment this week was getting the septic actually. That's been the biggest accomplishment. It is basically finished now. We need to connect up the uh, plumbing from the house and from the little outdoor kitchen area. And then we've got some work there, but I'll explain more about that another time. Uh, this week they finished up at the cistern up at the top as well. Got that all finished for the most part. Our Maestro Segundo uh, got the hole in the wall patched with Adobe, as you've seen some of the video. Uh, Danny and I have been working inside. We actually got the bathroom finished. The lights work, the fan work, the ceiling is finished. Uh, the bathroom's not completely renovated, but at least it's functional. So next week's another week. Uh, we're going to continue working on the roof. They're going to finish connecting the tubes and stuff here. Okay, so thanks so much for tuning in to Passion for Life Gallery, Home on the Range edition. Um, and we thank you so much for supporting the channel. We will talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.